Welcome back to the Bardon Podcast. Today we're going to be ranking the most privileged players in the NHL. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Not actually, but we're going to go over the four teams we would want to play in the playoffs and the four teams we wouldn't want to play in the playoffs, as well as going over some don't think just tweets of I actually don't know them. Pock wrote them, so does anyone have some hand cream? <laughs> like, you know, like yeah, actually, <laughs> my mitts are so dry. That's genuinely one of the like two of the driest hands I've yeah. ever. Really really these are the ugliest hands. Like I have like these weird callousy spots, like these weird blisters, these big. You dry, think this guy works in labor? Hands. Get yeah, some yeah. lotion, I mean, man. Yeah, I work out. I, I hit the barbell, but other than that, not a lot. Of, <laughs> not as much as pigs, but like, yeah, yeah. dude. If it, take yeah. it, if pigs was here, he probably wouldn't even fit between me and Corn because he's so much more jacked no. than you. You want me to like prove it right now? I <laughs> can okay. prove it now. I kicked pig's ass in an arm wrestle. No, but arm I'm wrestle's just... more about technique. Yeah. No, you know what arm wrestle's about? It's not about. It's not about the dog in the fight. It's about the fight in the dog. <laughs> okay, so how do we? I don't, I don't know. I don't remember what are, the topics were. Are we getting to the? Don't, there's some award talk. There's a little bit of junior hockey. Don't want to no. spoil too much. I'm talking yeah. the award talks. Yeah, eh? Are we'll discuss. <laughs> are you keen, me? We'll, we'll discuss. We'll discuss. We will discuss. Are we getting to the first person's list of the teams that we... You want to start with the teams that we don't want to play or the teams that we do want to play? Probably start with the teams we don't, don't want to play. Don't want to play. Okay. All right. Uh, I guess we'll just we'll throw Luca. Get us started. Oh, my God. I, I have to start all of these. It's crazy. Okay. <laughs> this is tough, man. There are, like, a lot of good teams in the NHL right now. Like, me and Jesse were talking about before. I feel like... Parody's at an all-time high. It, it is, and I also see people... Talking about how like they want to reduce the amount of playoff teams. What? I don't know. Yeah, I've I've seen that a little bit of like some people being like reduce is crazy. Yeah, like, I'm I'm I, I'm more I'm fully against. <laughs> no, I'm against more in. I think it's, it's a perfect like, amount. Half the league makes the playoffs. Yeah, yeah, I think people are just like, no, that's too many. And I'm like, no, it's not. Like it, there are so many good teams. It would make the playoff like race insane. Yeah, yeah. but like imagine Tampa Bay, like a team that has like Stanley Cup pedigree, has been a perennial contender fighting for their lives to make the playoffs like would be but even and then like last night's leafs game like that would matter a lot yeah more, you know because yeah. like then you're starting to think like geez like tampa's only four points back 10 games to go who knows mm-hmm. what happens but but now it's like the leafs and a bunch of other teams currently are just like especially the western conference is like so it's a, it's a just so boring currently <laughs> like yeah but then well, when the those playoffs start central's good when those playoffs start the West is going to oh, be... Oh, it's going to be the best. Dynamic. Teams that I wouldn't want to play. And is this in order? This is in order. So okay. Are we, oh, are we doing it in order? Yeah, there's an order. Yeah, there okay. should be an order. There should be an yeah. order, right? I'm, I'm going to have okay. to look at mine before. Okay, yeah. that's okay. Um, Dallas is at the top for me. I remember my order now. Um, Colorado 2, Edmonton 3, and then I've got... I've got Carolina at 4. Wow. wow. Yeah. Carolina is my only East team. They look good. They look good. Like, I don't know if Gensel is that game breaker. That, this is perennial that been... Hurricanes doubter. Like, I know. Right. But with Gensel in the lineup, they just look amazing. And Edmonton's kind of self-explanatory. Like, why would you want to face McDavid and Dreisaitl in the playoffs at all? Um, and then you've got 50-goal scorer Zach Hyman in there as well. And then... Privileged 50-goal privileged, scorer. Privileged 50-goal scorer. Privileged <laughs> Prince. That's my new nickname uh, for him. That's a good nickname. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um... And then, yeah, Colorado's amazing. Like, home ice, if they get home ice in the playoffs, like, look out. And Dallas, I just think, is, like, the most complete team. And they're starting to, like, they've won five in a row now. They're starting to starting to get hot at the right time here. The Central is uh, is a mess right now. So that, that's my top four. So, I, like, mine's not too different. But the, I just, like, I, I did factor in, like, how much of a bummer it is for whatever team that ends up playing them, if that makes sense. So yeah. you'll, you'll see eventually. But number one, I have Colorado. Number two, I had Dallas. Number three, I had the Panthers. And number four, I had Vegas. And I do, I would, if it was just pure, which team do you want to play? I wouldn't, I would want to play Edmonton less than Vegas. But I'm just saying Vegas because, like, that sucks for. Like, they're going like, to be probably a wild card, too. Yeah. Like, yeah. Or a wild card one. Dallas, just, Colorado, like, or Vancouver is going to end up playing Vegas. Which is a nightmare. <laughs> like, I would be so rattled. I don't know. Okay, okay, fair enough. We're, we're not discussing yet, but we're, we're just saying our list. We will discuss. We will be discussing. We will be discussing. We will discuss. 
for sure we'll discuss. So what's your list? I don't. I actually, I'm not sure if we're gonna discuss because Pac didn't really say if we were or not. We'll discuss. Okay, we perfect. Okay? okay, we're gonna discuss. Yeah. It's good to know. It's good. Very <laughs> good. One of us yeah. is gonna discuss. We all have to discuss. Um, uh, okay, number one. <sighs> it's tough. <laughs> Honestly, pro- probably Colorado. <laughs> Probably Colorado was my number one. <laughs> yeah, like we made yeah, this. Yeah, What's yeah. going on? Number two. Oh, I guess because you didn't rank them. I didn't rank them. Yeah. Number two, probably go with Dallas. Number three, I think right now, I'll probably go with Florida. Yeah. We have the exact same yeah. list so far. Uh, and then number four, this is where our lists differ. I'm going to go with Carolina. Like, you know, we mentioned like Luca has not, he's, he's sad, like, a, what, like, you know, he's been like a little harder on them. But what has Luca always said? They've been missing that like game changer type player. And they've had, like, some really good players. But I just think that Gensel has been such a big-time addition for them. Like, he's just – he's averaging more than a point per game right now. And he's got that playoff experience. And I think Jarvis also has, like, really taken a step forward this I year. I love Seth I, Jarvis. I, I love so fun. Seth Jarvis. He's so, so fun. funny. Also, Winnipegger. My brother used to play hockey with Seth Jarvis. I've actually known Seth Jarvis since he was, like yeah, – About like, yay. About yay. Like a yay. baby. Hi. A baby, for sure. He used to be ripping around the rink all the time. We actually did some content with him a couple yeah. summers ago. Beauty. And shout out Owen Pickering. Shout out Owen Pickering. Absolute legend. So I just I just think Carolina I think Carolina. Wait, Florida, you don't discuss too much yet. Okay. Say your list. So I'm gonna say my list and then I have a couple questions about your list, and that's when we will discuss. We will be discussing. <laughs> I also do wanna say I'm a little disappointed you guys all went from one to four in your list. Yeah. Oh, it's more climactic yeah, go four true. to one. And that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, you're okay. the best, man. No, no, it's you're not, it's no, not no, about that. You're it's the not best. About that. You're the be- Just out, do us, Pop. It's not about that. It's about <laughs> discussing, which we're going to do. Okay, so in we are going to be doing We, are gonna we need to do a list first, yeah. though, before okay, we discuss. Four to one makes for better discussion. Number four, I have the Edmonton Oilers. Very self-explanatory. The fact that they have the best player in the NHL and Connor McDavid. It's, it's it's a nightmare to play against him in a series. Interesting Number three. note about how you're doing it now, because of that you're starting with last for some reason that felt disrespectful. I don't know why. Like to like, the Oilers. All, yeah, like all of us had Oilers in a similar spot or lower, but because you're like number four Oilers, I was like, oh. yeah, because like but, number four, it's like, <laughs> oh, okay, they still cracked the top four, so it's cool. But now you're just like, oh, like you're starting. Like these guys aren't well. One. I'm kind of factoring in like who they're gonna play as well. Like I very similar. In fact, I'm probably like using that as a big determining factor in this list. Because, yeah. like, number three... You don't have to explain yourself. I was just... It, it, my What I said made no sense. I was just, like, in my mind, it felt like that. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> number three, I'm surprised none of you guys brought this up because they're the hottest team in the NHL right now, Nashville Predators. Oh, my God. Why? We, you don't think they deserve to make the list? We'll discuss. They have all the we will tools. We'll discuss. We'll discuss. Okay. List. I just want to say they have all the tools of a team to, like... Don't do this. <laughs> don't, don't do this to me again. Because he did that over top of a computer recently, and Pac was in a meeting. In a <laughs> important meeting. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I didn't even notice it, and I was in that meeting. With him. Yeah. Okay. But that's a quarrel. How many teams do I have left? Two? Two, yeah. Number two, I got the Colorado Avalanche. And number one, simply due to the fact that they have the cup pedigree, and the regular season just does not matter for this team. I have the Vegas Golden Knights at one. Wow, wow Dallas, not in the top four. It's surprising. You win a division, and your prize for being the best team in your division all year long is playing the not only the defending Stanley Cup champions, but I think they got better this year than they were last year. And they went all out at the deadline to get Noah Hannafin and Tom Searle, the two best players available at the deadline. That's why they're number one for me. On paper, I think they're better. I don't yeah. think they've played. They haven't. Person. I was going to say, so when we do our other list later, Vegas comes up on, on my other list. Wow. wow. I think that's insane we will to want to play Vegas. Especially, like, again, when you're factoring in that, like, that's Dallas's reward for finishing first. I'm Again, not for sure. I guess it could be Vancouver and I think uh, Dallas beats Colorado, Vegas. But I think Dallas okay. beats Vegas. Okay, Vancouver, a surprise this year that they've been so good. Okay. Yeah. Are we going? They are, haven't are, any of our lists. Are we, are haven't we, shown a ton of like playoff success like the Avalanche have. Like I mean, Dallas has gone on decent runs as well, and obviously Vegas has just won the Stanley Cup. Vancouver versus Vegas first round. Like, is it disrespectful to say I feel like Vegas should almost be the favorite? I feel I, like that's probably disrespectful to say, but also I'm just thinking about like the playoffs are just different. Yeah, the playoffs are different because Vegas just activate a bunch of guys from LJR and then they're a different team than they were. It's absolute bull, bull crap. But like, it is going to be weird. Like, like again, like is, is Thomas Hurdle going to play a game with that team before that? And like, is that, 
I don't know. That's a weird. Yeah, thing. There, a lot like has to your, click. Yeah, so I like. I, I'll still. Uh, I'll I'll give Vancouver the slight favorite nod. <laughs> if I I don't think like I think if you're Vancouver, you'd be super bummed about having to play them. And I think like if they lose, it's not surprising. But with home ice advantage and like they've been a very good team all year, I I think you still give them slight favorite. I feel like. But it is interesting that Vancouver didn't make a single one of our lists. Well, are we going to say our other list now, or are we going to discuss a little more first? That's interesting. <laughs> I, I'd still like to discuss a couple of like things on yeah, the list. Discuss. I'm into discuss. discussing. Yeah. One team that also stuck out for me a little bit is the Carolina Hurricanes. Just because of the fact that you know they feel like perennial conference final appearances and they don't really do anything after that and i do think they've gotten a lot better this year like you mentioned seth jarvis is way better than he was before jake Ensel, i think puts that forward group over the top it's misses it, literally but, man they added the missing pieces to the puzzle like that's just what it seems like do they have the goaltending to go all the way because how many times how many years in a row do we see that that is ultimately the deciding factor in the playoffs. Look well, at Bobrovsky. But, but, but their defense say, is now, amazing this year. It is. I was going to say, with them, though, it's never been like the goaltending that's held them back, I don't think. Like, they couldn't score last year against yeah. Florida at all. Yeah. And I think that's what part of the problem was. So I think, like, with Kuznetsov and Gensel, the lineup is a lot more well-rounded now that hopefully... They've also got, like, elite power play and penalty kill. I think they'll have five in both of them. It's like... Guys, <laughs> that helps. You, you They're know a good who, team. You know who low-key is a team that none of us have talked about? Man... The Lightning would not want to play them in the first round. Imagine that's your your first round reward. Like that would also just suck. They they've been heating up. Kucherov's incredible. We know what these guys can do in the playoffs. Obviously, it depends what what are we gonna see from Vasilevsky. That's yeah, awesome. and Sergachev is like a big loss for them too. But like Duclair has been unreal for mm-hmm. them. Like yeah. man, I would not want to play Tampa. Can we uh, can we discuss Nashville? Yes. Do we, do we want to yeah, discuss yeah. Nashville? Because you're the only one that has the Preds on the Damn. list. I I respect it. As an Avs fan, like one we gotta say, like it's incredible what they've done. I don't it's even know how, like that. Amazing. Just because of, like the sphere timing, and yeah. Then now they're is it fifteen zero and two or sixteen zero and two? Yeah, eighteen games unbeaten in regulation. Man. In regulation, they're they might not even be a wild card at this rate. I know they're still like four points with four points behind the Jets, which Sorry, is crazy though to think about. Yeah, they're <laughs> but it's just <laughs> not the hands again. I need you to turn into Ash, like Professor Quirrell did to Harry, or dry. No, Harry and, they've, and Quirrell. they've got a game against the Jets before the season is over. You so sweating? Like it's, it's a two point. We're turning the heat up in this room. I'm hey, sweating? sweating? Two I'm point sweating. lead. <laughs> I will say, like, I mean, okay, but now here's another question because, like, if you drop into a wild card spot, you maybe play. Dallas or Vancouver instead of Colorado. Out of those three teams, I would easily want to play Vancouver the most. Yeah. Nah, like not even inter- a, interesting not though even because a question. Uh, my only thought there is like Thatcher Demko is the best goalie out of those three teams. Does that not factor? But in? if you're Winnipeg and so you have the best goalie in the NHL, team? then I I don't know how scared are you of the other team's goalie. Man, Dallas is just such a well-rounded team and Colorado's been there and are so electric up front. Like I just I don't like Vancouver. Just doesn't really have that. Well, we'll, we'll wait. We'll wait until we talk with the next section. Yeah. Um, Here's what but, else. Yeah. Like Nashville, as an Avs fan, I don't want to face them. No. Like the run that they're on. If you're asking me, like, would you rather face? And I know they didn't make my top four, and I don't. I don't think they make my top four because it's like, I I just wouldn't want to. I'd want to. If I'm playing any of the other four teams we mentioned, I'm a lot more scared. But like Nashville is the perfect recipe of an upset team. Like they're the Seattle of last, dude. Like they are. I think the, they're better. Not, I think not, they're better. Not, I think not, they're better yeah. than that Seattle team too. But I think like that's the kind of box we're fitting them in. Of like whoever has to face them in the first round, like good luck because These, not, not, that, could, that team could easily win. Not even just an upset right. team. Like I was talking about this with Luca earlier and my little brother Jane last night. Maybe I'm getting ahead of myself, but I. I just feel like Nashville kind of has the makeup of like this Stanley Cup. There you go. That this this low key team that's going to go on a run. Like, look at what happened with you know, like they hire Brunette. This is this is Barry Trotz. I feel Trotter's like we're giving year. Nashville way too much love, dude. They're sixteen zero and two in the last eight. I think they games. checked They've all the boxes. They, they I, I will say teams. this though, like. Outside of Forsberg and like a career resurgence from Gustav Nyqvist, they really don't have much. Yeah, like if you O'Reilly's go, if you go, great. Start O'Reilly's been great, the- but then like after that, it's just like Yoshi, they've got nothing. Yoshi's but I, been incredible. I think that's part of what makes me feel that they're this like sleeping they're giant in the playoffs because they're finding yeah. ways to win and they're getting sleeping scoring. Giant. They're getting scoring from like their third and fourth line. Like I get that for former the first round pick, former halves 
bust. Michael McCarron's got double digit goals. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, yeah, that's that's what is going like, on this? I think there's a difference between like that and then like the St. Louis Blues or the Vegas Golden Knights depth that we talk about is like, okay, the Blues team when they won had like everyone down yeah. the line. You're like, these are proven guys that you expect to contribute offensively when in the playoffs, like if Michael McCarron's scoring isn't coming through in the playoffs, like this Preds team is done then? But that often, they got that's Luka how you win playoff Lista. series. Yeah, they do. Good young player. They got a, like Roman Yossi. I said it when we did the trade deadline last stream. Like, I, I think I put him in my all NHL first team. Like I think he's so he's so good. Are the Blues? And then they have the goaltending. They have like their star players are playing well and getting hot at the right time is so important. So that's why kind of been iffy for them. Like Saros has not been great this year, and like I think lately he's picked it up though. He might he might be picking it up lately, but like even goals saved above expected. If you want to go in that stat, like he is, it's it's negative one basically. Like he's he's kind of just been. He's just saving He's what's expected. Goalie this year. I get, I Not get, which, about. which, like, again, I kind of think is like, generally with goalies, you're kind of rolling the dice no matter what over like a s- smaller collection of games. And I will say, like, he's he's obviously a good goalie. Yeah. And like in a playoff series, you'd still be like, ah, I I, I wouldn't want to play Soros, even if like he hasn't been at his best this year. That's totally. Man, fair. I, I actually am thinking about that St. Louis team compared to this national team, and like. Was that blue team that much? No, better? they were. They I think were. They were. Man, okay, but like Forsberg is a forty goal scorer. Like O'Reilly has been is going to be a thirty goal scorer this year. Nyquist has been great. Yossi is incredible. Like so, what if you, if you if you go player for player, then you're going like so I don't, like they don't Yossi have the is Petrolangelo. Like I guess Tarasenko Fors- is Forsberg. Forsberg, and then what O'Reilly, O'Reilly is, is O'Reilly. O'Reilly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Um, I'm looking but, up that But similar in the, in the sense that, like, St. Louis got hot at the right time. Yes. Bennington was, like, kind of came out of nowhere. Coaching too, team. man. Like, these like, players buy into what their coaches are doing, and they just find ways to win. Remember Berube just, like, took over in St. Louis, and it's like, done. Brunette is just, like, seems to have always a, a music in. a music tie with Gloria. You know, Nashville has you, too. Oh, by the way, sh- speaking of that team, shout out to Layla Anderson. Bantam champion in hockey. Yeah. Won the ship. Oh, yeah. That yeah, great, want to check. Story. Shout out, Layla. Way to go. Well, what a story. Yeah. Like, great story. That team, though, too, like, if you're going up and down the lineup, like, Braden Shen, David Perron, Bozak, Jaden okay. Schwartz, Vince Dunn, Rob <laughs> oh, Thomas. They're missing. They're <laughs> missing. Cannot, a, they're missing. A David I'm saying, Perron. like, we're talking about Michael McCarron and, like, you just threw out Tyler Bozak. He was, like, was solid that year. He's yeah, he was so is Michael McCarron no. this year. No, but not no, no, no. like he's not Bozak, having like a Michael is. McCarron. No, no. They don't have they don't have What a, is this guy? Tyler Bozak. They bro. don't going have I like Tyler David Bozak. Perron. Okay? I watched David Perron dismantle the Jets in the first round that year. <laughs> and that guy is a gamer. He is game. a gamer. He is playoffs. a gamer. So do we not want to play the Red Wings? and what? So do we not want to play the Red Wings because they have David Maybe Ryan? that's a good time to move on to our second He's list. We've discussed now. quite a bit. We have discussed. I think well, and if we'll just throw out some other ones of like, are there any other teams that you think like, no Boston Bruins in here, no New York Rangers. Oh, we yeah. haven't said either of those. The Rangers to me are a surprise. We should think, do a no man's land kind of after. Well, no, that's just, it's the kind of implied. Teams, right? Yeah. I, I think they're not in it. They're the, not in the it. best of the no man's land. The Bruins <laughs> are interesting because I feel like everyone's, and this is, you can say this like three years running now. Everyone's kind of holding their breath, waiting for this to all come crashing down because it feels like every year it's like, how are they this good? But they they continue to win. So yeah. part of me, it's like, obviously, you're scared to play them. But yeah, they continue to win. Are but you? They also, if, if the Leafs win in the first round. Are, they, sorry, are you scared to play them? I think we'll find out soon. But what about the, the New York Rangers? I don't know if I'm scared to play them. I think they're one of the most I, well-rounded teams. I in think the I'm NHL. scared to play Easily. a lot of teams in the playoffs. Yeah. It's like really, there's just a couple teams that I <laughs> would rather play than others. But like, you could easily stick range the Rangers in the top four. You could easily stick like like Nashville could have been in the top four. You could stick Boston in. Heck, you could even make an argument for like Toronto, Edmonton. Like, yeah. I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't feel great playing any of those teams. But there are some teams that I would feel a little more comfortable playing. Than others, yeah, that's really. It, yeah. Like I think the Again, bottom tier is more visible than like what the top tier is. But, but that. even that, I feel like only the bottom of the bottom tier. Like once yeah. you get into like. Well, like again, if we're gonna say we'll like our, our team that's our <laughs> top ranked for want to play, or like our top two, I feel like have a significant gap between the rest well, of them. For sure. Good time to rattle off the list. Let's now. discuss. 
Wow. Who's starting? You want to start this time? I'll start this go time. Go for it, yeah. Wow. Now I have to... Snake draw. Now I have to remember. Yeah. Do I go four to one again? Yeah, let's go four to one. Would you guys like Might to hear well, that? Yeah. Okay, number four. Actually, whatever you're feeling. Okay, you know <laughs> no, what? Actually, I'm going to go one to I four. I think the four yeah. is kind of the bigger reveal. That's true. That's yeah. true. I agree. Okay, yeah. number one, I think we agreed on one of either Washington or Detroit, whatever team it is. No Crowds. question. I feel like just... Because of how Detroit has kind of fallen off recently, which I mean, we got ripped Frouds. pretty bad in 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 the comments for yeah, Red Wings were rushing extreme, them off. Red Wings fans were extremely mad, and they probably Since hate then, us more because they, they, lost, what, they Denver, just right? bombed. And, like, Since that episode, and, and, hey, you know what? If if we can give one nice thing to the Red Wings. I want them to make the playoffs. Definitely, over Washington. definitely. Yeah, yeah I, I think I, I think I'm they're like, far and away the better team. I just don't think Washington. As like re- it will do anything in the playoffs, and I like I, I, don't, I don't know. Detroit is at least different and fun. Yeah. yeah. Number two, I have the Philadelphia Flyers. I think you could easily also put them at one. Like it's it feels pretty interchangeable. You're I feel like some of you guys. Much. I'm what explaining you're trying too to much. Discuss. Number three, I have the LA Kings. Okay, and then number four, the big reveal, the Toronto Maple Leafs. Wow. This guy wants to play the Leafs. Doesn't believe. Wouldn't you? Doesn't believe. We'll, we'll discuss. We'll discuss. We'll discuss. Look, I'm going to say this is a very honest fan, okay? And the way I <laughs> You're see discussing. Things, the way things... I'm going to discuss... <laughs> it's a little the way, too much discussion. The way that discussion. I see things right now, at this moment in time when we're filming. <laughs> Number one, I'm going with Washington and Detroit. <laughs> <laughs> For sure, obviously. Like, I think that's the clear ticket to be like, okay, if you're playing that team, you actually should win the series. And people will be surprised if you don't win that series. Number two have a ton of respect for them, but going to go with the Flyers as well. They're a little banged up. But at the same time, man, I'll get into it after. I have thoughts on them. Number three, I actually hate so much to say right now because I do believe in them, but I'm going to say the Jets because they have not looked good lately at all. And they've been getting exposed. Like to go on a New York trip and drop three in a row the way that they did, like against like not good teams like Capitals. Teams that are not in the team of Caps. That was the only playoff team though that they yeah. that they faced on that series. To go and just get nothing and like, I I just feel like we've just, we need Velarde in the lineup so badly and I'll get to it in a bit. You're discussing a little too. I'm discussing, but like discussing. I have to because I'm so passionate about it. <laughs> and number four, I have a tough time saying this one, but I'm gonna go with the Canucks because as good as they are, man, as good as they are. I could see a team like the LA Kings, and this was, I think someone on TSN was just discussing this. Like, wow, they were discussing? They were discussing. I was like, I'm into the, the, I was into this discussion. If you're going to discuss, you better <laughs> check in with us first. Yeah, okay? yeah, yeah. It's our turf. Yeah, exactly. Exa- we discuss. We discuss. Okay? But I'm going to explain why Vancouver after, but I'm going to go with Vancouver. I feel like we've all got some spicy ones here. But so, I, I, funny enough, I am actually going to switch what you guys had. Uh, the team I'd want to play the most is the Philadelphia Flyers. Yeah. Uh, the team second most is going to be Red Wings, Capitals, whichever one. Uh, third is the Winnipeg Jets. And fourth is the Boston Bruins. Interesting. A lot. Wow. We want Boston. Let's go. <laughs> I like it. Okay, I've got the first two are the same as Pac and Jesse, Flyers, two, Capitals, Red Wings, one. I did that in a random order. I got Canucks, three, and I got Golden Knights, four. To drop the Canucks and the Golden Knights, who could very well play each other, too, is like, that's wild. They definitely could. Um, Why are you guys putting the Canucks in there? Because... No, I'm ready to discuss. I think if you're a wildcard team, like, they're they're the team that you want to draw... Instead of the central winner. Why? Because, because I think expectations are so high right now with this team. How? What? Are, why are they so high? No, as far as like how the outside world might view them and like how the outside world might view Nashville going into that series, let's say, of like, oh yeah, Nashville's got no shot. This Canucks team, they're stacked, they're loaded, whatever. Like, I'm, I'm just, I'm saying... That team reminds me of like when the Avs faced the Flames in round one, when the Avs were on like their come up and still hadn't had that playoff success. And like I know whoever Vancouver faces will be different. That Flames team was stacked like all year, ran the table, won the West, 100 point players and Goudreau, and they had Kachuk and whatever. And they lost in the first round. And I could just see that Canucks team having a similar trajectory in year one agree. of what's been an over expectation year. 
as far as what they've been able to do so far. I want to see this I, team in the playoffs. Per- personally, I just think like the Canucks have been doubted all year long yeah. and every single time they keep showing up and they're I still at that. the top of the league and like respect I, Re- yeah. so much respect to the Canucks for what they've done this year. Like they've been really great. I just think that like I don't think it be could be taken for granted. I think experience in the playoffs is important. And I look at all these other teams, they all have experience. Dallas, Colorado has experience. Even Winnipeg has a good deal of experience. We've been to the playoffs a lot lately, okay? You look at you look at Vegas, who they might have to play in the first round. Even Nashville has had guys that have like made runs. Vancouver just hasn't really done it. It's it's like a they've had a great year. Man, not to say that they won't that they won't win. I, I again, like I think there's only like two teams that I would feel comfortable playing within the first round. For me, like I wouldn't necessarily want to play the Jets in the first round. I wouldn't want to play Vancouver. But if Nashville plays Vancouver in the first round, I'm taking Nashville in that series personally. Against Vancouver, I guess. Yeah. How I'm looking sure. at this is like if I'm looking at the four I division. I can't believe. If I'm how looking at the four division winners, and Wait, I'm man. I'm projecting like Florida to win the Atlantic, the Rangers, Canucks, and then either Dallas or Colorado. Out of those division winners, if I'm a wild card team, the Canucks are the team I'd want to play out of anyone that wins the division. Sorry, say the four teams again. Panthers, Avs or Dallas, Rangers and Canucks. I feel like that's fair, but yeah, you're but that's, comparing that's them with like way the four best things teams. than saying I want to play them. Yeah. I kind of want to play them. <laughs> that's I don't know. I just I kind of want to play them. Well, okay, here's a team that I think could have maybe replaced Vancouver for me personally. I think you maybe could have thrown LA. Yeah. But, but you know what, man? I look at LA's core and like I could also see them no, Even okay. a team fits, man. Oh, like oh. they still have, they're, they're good guys are still good, and if their top end talent is playing really well, then like, man, you know they still have like Doughty and they still got they still got horses, horses in the back. <laughs> I, I will say, so I'm sure there's some Boston fans out there just being like, what a hypocrite, this guy's an idiot, because I was just like, people keep doubting Vancouver and blah blah blah, and then I said Boston Bruins and like this, you could say the exact same. thing No, to them. I think it's I think it's different because Vancouver took such a big step from where they were last year that we actually don't know like the ceiling of this team, and not to say, say we, mine's mine's even dumber. No, uh, <laughs> well no, no no what I'm saying is. Boston is like, I think Boston's pretty similar to what they were last year, and they got exposed by Florida in the first round. They didn't really make that many changes. They've got good, not great centers still, and like, I mean, they don't. Even, they lost Patrice Bergeron. And yeah, well, no, 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 yeah. but, but Co- Coyle and Zach have been really good. No, this no, year. I, I don't. I don't mean that. I just year. mean like, yeah, if you compare to last year, like, no, the, I, like I think I would not be surprised at all if Boston lost in the first round. They're arguably worse than they. I mean, they're still great, obviously, but. As far as playoffs go, like, are we going to say that this year's team is built for the playoffs? Like last year, they weren't. Maybe they just ran into a hot floor. Yeah, I, like I don't, I, I don't know if I'm going to fault them that much for last year. Like, but my main thing is just that one, some personal bias is coming in of like, and obviously the Leafs part of it, but also as a Leafs fan, I want to play Boston over Florida. Yeah, yeah, for that sure. Makes so sense. I'm rattled that they keep going ahead of them. Also, that makes sense. also just saying. If Boston plays Tampa in the first round, call me nuts. I'm taking the Lightning. That would be a great matchup. I'm taking the Lightning. Great, Unreal matchup. I think, like, I just, I just feel like Tampa is kind of back. I feel like they're kind of back. I would not want to play them if I was in the East. It's this team's, they're just, they're just this quietly going out there under the radar. This like, guy's just obsessed with wild card one team. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god. What is that? Oh, are you are you this is that was wild. He said that so this weird. Is that wild. was wild. <laughs> also, wanna say man, I, I, I met Pooch this? at All Star Weekend. He was just as cool as I thought he was gonna be. Did he say First of all, well, we really yeah, yeah. met him, Luca, and I, and I chatted with him. I was just like, man, I just want to say that like you are such a beauty, and like this the speech that you gave after after the the Habs. after beating the Habs was one of the coolest things I've ever seen, and I pounded it with him, and he was just like, thanks, bro. And then later in the weekend, I saw him again, and we actually chatted for like three minutes. So cool. I got a, got a pig with him. And he was saying, it like, he's just like, yeah, saw the UND tour that you guys did at their locker room. He's, then he's just like, you should come. He's like, you should come to Tampa Bay. I was like, why? Is it sick? He goes, no. 
<laughs> I think it was just joking. That was a good story. But Pretty sure about it. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I will. But was that before or after you kicked dirt in Nick Suzuki's eye for losing Sean Monaghan? That happened in this room. That was after. <laughs> no, I, I think Kucherov was obviously just kidding about the Lions dressing room. He just thought that UND's was so sick. But what I will, <laughs> what I will say is he is such a beauty. He's got, he's got to be one of my top five favorite, favorite players in the world. I love him. I love Kucherov. And we will, we will be game. discussing him more later. Will we? I we will. So. We will be. Wait. We'll, we won't be thinking, but yeah. we will be discussing. We'll be um, one more thing I wanted to say about Boston in particular. The whole, like, who the Leafs would rather play, Florida, Boston. Obviously, they're both great teams. But, like, it, do you feel almost... They played Boston so many times that it feels like eventually they're going to win. And the fact that they got swept by them in the regular season and kind of, like, like embarrassing... Like, yeah, no, no, like it, that almost makes me feel worse if for you're Boston oh, if yeah. you're a Bruins fan. Because it's like... You have not only like embarrassed this team in the playoffs, not embarrassed, but you've you've had their number in the playoffs well, so many like times. It's for finally. Well, I mean, I shouldn't say finally, but the shoes a bit on the other foot where it's like Boston better win. This. Yeah, but what? Yeah, like not, not that like the Leafs were ever heavy favorites in the series, but also the it, it just feels like the perfect storm in the sense that the Leafs have gotten destroyed by Boston in the regular season. Mm-hmm. The Leafs, in my opinion, this also feels like well, you sorry, the, you you had them on your list as you want to play them. Yes. Yeah, interesting. They've, I but but I'm, I have also see this, stuff. like, weird scenario where they kind of have nothing to lose against Boston. It feels like a down year. Like, I don't know how you feel as a Leaf fan, but we feel worse about this team going into the playoffs than all the other teams before this. Am I wrong in saying that? I know they went on that one heater where they looked amazing, but other than that, the season's kind of felt sloppy. The goaltending situation's a little bit weird this I, year. But weirdly really enough, I'm actually enough. kind of fine with their goaltending because, like, like, they just have, like, this, like... These three guys that are all solid and like it's Martin like Jones. yeah. It's, what about no, Matt Murray? Hilarious. Four. Yeah, honestly, yeah. Get get Matt Murray in there too. Playoff pedigree, Stanley Cup champion. Uh, but no, I, I get it. Like their penalty kills terrible. Um, they uh, and they they just haven't been as good this year. And I think even if you just look at the lineup, like like the fact that like it's an actual consideration that TJ Brody, like some people don't want him in their ideal playoff lineup, which is like in my mind. I get why, because he hasn't been at his best, but it's also nuts. Because like, if if you're trying to play for your like highest ceiling lineup, yeah, he just is probably a better player than Benoit. But you you love Benoit. I don't know. Like he's just like such a likable guy. Yeah, but well, Can you uh, scratch my back, please. I'm not doing that. <laughs> Someone, <laughs> Someone's gonna, I have a really itchy back right now. Absolutely I, not. I can't I'm, reach it. I'm not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> this is unhinged. <laughs> what is going on? But something's going to fall. <laughs> it's oh, like yeah, uh, my back. he's a Boston Bruin right now. <laughs> it's like that in that one spot. <laughs> What is that? Man, I had an itch. No one wanted to scratch. What? (laughs) Missed me with cheap Benoit. (laughs) Why do you hate Benoit? He's just annoying to play against. It's good. That means means what you like. That means you win one. Which is why Leafs fans like him, but also like he has limitations. Like Guys, he's even spoken about it before. Miss me with the stories and the news around Zach Hyman. <laughs> Guy was just like, I've waited long enough. I need to talk about this. Ma- no, no, maybe the craziest way to start a video saying miss oh. me with. I actually laughed out loud when I heard it for the first time. <laughs> oh, but I don't know. Do we have any other teams to discuss in this? Well, yeah, it's, you category. know, we actually haven't discussed enough. Has been the Jets, and I want to hear. Oh, I did want. I did want to say, if you're Dallas, Colorado, I think you're you'd want to lose. No. Like you'd rather play the Jets probably. Like, than play I'd rather play the Jets instead of the Preds or Preds Vegas. Or Vegas. Yeah. I, so I'm opposite on Vegas because I oh, have them on. Have four. you not said your list? He did yeah, say no, his oh, list, yeah. but Vegas he had is Vegas. Four. Oh yeah. We need to discuss. I think the Vegas. reason why I have Vegas at four, like they've dealt with a ton of injuries. You don't know how those guys are coming back into this, and like what you guys were saying about the lineup thing. Like we know I, Mark I Stone's the, Mark Stone's coming back healthier than ever. Let's just all sure, be in agreement for sure. But like. That is a lot of change to undergo right before a playoff run, and they haven't looked their best this season. Like, Mm -hmm. I I think this is a different team than last year's team that won the Cup. Like, yeah, they might be more talented on paper with the additions they made. How that all clicks and finding that out in the first round, I'd love to be the ones that take a crack at them and just kind of get them off their heels before they have a chance to go through a round one series and get more comfortable playing together as opposed to, like, 
just getting them right off the bat. Um, you, so a, as an Avs fan, like, yeah, I, I kind of, I kind of am into that first round matchup. You worry, wow. yeah, like has I, Vegas, has Vegas, like, have they had enough time to click as a team? Like, yeah, that, it just seems that's mainly like it. They made so many changes, and like some of the changes that they have made aren't even gonna like. You have guys that are just gonna come back for the playoffs. Like, not doubting that they can figure it out they've and go on around because they're sick. That they've but, done it before, but yeah. I, I think like this year they've just been off. This year, like they have not been as good as I think we think the Vegas Golden Knights are, and they're they're kind of like limping into this well, playoff wild, run. Second wild cards. Probably. Yeah, and like for a while there was a little it was a little questionable. Like with the Blues or Wild maybe yeah. catch them. Like I don't yeah. think there's enough time for that to happen right now. But like they've gone through some rough stretches down down here where. Okay, you're getting Mark Stone back. That's fine, but I I still have questions about like Aiden Hill as a playoff goalie and and that and even just some of their high caliber scoring. Do you, I I get it from the perspective that the West is just so good that there's yeah. so few teams that you'd want to play that if you're looking at the West and and I obviously it's partially because you guys are so high on Nashville, which I still think is insane. But dude, the, they're sixteen zero and two in their last eighteen games, like. The yeah, playoffs, like the teams playoffs, go on heaters. And yeah, like, and if you go on a heater at the right time near the playoffs, is that's this like, the right time? Are they peaking too early? Exactly, it might be. I'm just I mean, contradicting the Blues, myself. They could, they could lose their last ten, and then <laughs> well, the Blues went on quite the heater, like for the second whole second half of the season. Sure. And if they're, I watched them dismantle the Jets in that first round. Like it just, we just got tossed. We also have to talk about the Jets because we haven't talked about them enough. I feel like considering it's kind of a pretty big. You know, bombshell for me to just drop the Jets. It is tough. I feel like I need it, to give some ex- some but, reasoning. But it makes here. sense, like you said, like the Velarde thing is like so tough because like yeah. and, and nobody even knows when he's back. So it's like, are, is he gone for the whole playoffs? Like I don't, I have no idea. He's been what? Yeah. probably your best player this year, maybe other than like Hellebuck and Norris or Shif- Morrissey. Shif- Shifley's also been really like Shifley's been really good. Yeah, you know, Connor's been scoring a lot of goals, although defensively. There have been there are struggles with a lot of players <laughs> on a team. Here, here's my thing about the Jets, and I was talking about this with Luke on the way here. We have a deep team, and like at some point, you got to just ask: Is the Jets' top end talent as good as some of the other contenders' top end talent? Like, are Shifley and Connor and and I guess now like Monahan to Foley. Like, are these got Ehlers, are these guys as good as, like, a McKinnon and a Rantanen and a Nichushkin and a Middlestat and, or, like, from another team, like, a J, like, like, Robertson or Pavelski or, uh, Hines. I don't know, but Hens. top, top end talent doesn't always translate to winning a playoff series. But it should, man. Like, like, going on runs at least, it's like, your top end talent has to be really, really good. Other than St. Louis's top end talent wasn't like exceptional or anything, but like, you have to have like Alex game- Ozak, <laughs> least legend. You have to have like that, as Luca described it on the way here, like a game changer type player. Like I don't know, like I think Kyle Connor offensively can be that for the Jets, but like I don't know, like I just I'm just wondering. Well, like their power play has been not great this year. No, right? like no, and like that's such a massive thing in the playoffs that if you can actually make that count, then that that's a tough one. I'm also a little concerned about our defense. Like, I think we've got good defensemen. I love Josh Morrissey. He's not – Josh Morrissey's actually amazing. He's great. Yeah. He'll be a Team Canada defenseman. Like, he's so good with the puck, controls the game. He's not that big. I love the fact that we have guys like Brendan Dillon in the lineup. But, like, it's, it's going to be interesting. I, I hope we hold our own. I think we've got a great head coach, and I wouldn't be surprised at all if we won our first-round series or even made a run. But – it's just not looking as optimistic as maybe it did a little bit earlier. No, and like why why are we like dropping games three in a row to Washington, the Islanders, and the Devils? Like just just unacceptable. Like I a mean, month they, out of playoffs. Yeah, I know what you mean. They are all teams that are like very hungry to win right now. Cause like I know Devils are probably out, but like it's technically still, still in a playoff hunt and like maybe that just mentality is a bit different. But but if, will, if you're if you're like a serious contender here, like you're not dropping three games like that. Like look at what look what Colorado's doing right now. Like they're running a nine game heater. Like I get that also Washington to what happened after that? <laughs> to Montreal. Whatever. It's one game. I will say this though. like the reason I hope you enjoyed your Stanley Cup. I didn't Still include happened. the Jets on mine was because of Halibut. Like that guy scares the crap out of me the way he's yeah. playing. Like he's been head and shoulders the best goalie in the league this year. Yes, 
we and and he did play well against Edmonton last night. But, but like, so Depko wa- and Aiden Hill don't scare you at all. Well, I, they I do, but not as much as Hellebuck. And Hellebuck's probably going to win the Vezina. But that's your but, game changer. You're talking about the Jets yeah. needing a game changer. Like that's your like, yeah. We, we, the we, Habs we, went to a Cup final yes, with Carey Price. They went to Eastern Conference Finals with Carey Price being their best player. And I love and the Jets' we, depth. Like I, I really do. Their top nine is so good. Amazing. Even our fourth line is going to be really good this yeah. year, opposed to other years. And that's the thing. Like the Jets have incredible depth. And man, Hellebuck's amazing. Don't get like. He's but have incredible. we talked enough about the Vezina curse? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know much about the Vezina curse. I don't know. I just made it up. Oh. I just, I just, you know what? I'm sure it's actually the president, a thing. When, yeah, like, you talking about the President's Trophy curse. Is Vancouver like, set to win the President's Trophy? It's a log jam. Yeah, yeah, anyone can win. If Vancouver wins the President's Trophy, win. I'm taking them as a lock to lose Well, don't round. think about this because we may tweet oh, okay. it. Okay, no, but, but, but the one thing I will say is Hell- Hellebuck was not great in the playoffs last year for the Jets. And, and we're going to need him to be at his best, which is you know, very well could happen, but I don't know. I just ha- I haven't felt great about the Jets. I think what's going to happen is we're going to get Velarde back, and then things are going to start clicking, and we're going to look a lot better. But we've been missing him. So last thing we should talk about Flyers, Red Wings, Capitals. So like the I had the Flyers lower than you guys just because like their goaltending's a disaster mm-hmm. right now. They are just like your team falling. Like I don't even, like again Injured. we we did a Washington Flyers thing. Like Washington could be that third. St- their division team. Yeah, that's crazy. Like, like Washington and Detroit can kind of both make the true. playoffs and the Flyers could miss. Which yeah. We didn't really give much thought to. Which, uh, yeah, isn't it? Like, there, and it's again, I think we talked about it on the trade deadline stream that, like, I, it is weird to me that, like, there wasn't as much of a discussion as, like, oh, it's weird that Philly is, like, in a pretty decent spot this year and sold maybe their best defenseman this but it, season. And I like, think it's kind of showing that they were right to sell their best defenseman because they're not but really is it like a legitimate a self-fulfilling team. self-fulfilling prophecy? Because you, you also made your team worse. Yeah, but you also gained a first-round pick, and I still think the Flyers sort of direction is building towards the yeah, future. I, and you're I, not really, I do understand kind of trusting the They're not supposed to be this good this year, let's be honest. Yeah. Let's say what, well, you know, they took advantage of a Metro division that has... So many teams have just fell way short of expectation. The yeah. Devils were supposed to be way yeah. better. The Penguins were supposed to be way better. I mean, Washington might make the playoffs, Man, but Pittsburgh. Pfft, yeah, what a, a tire fire! And you know what else? We were talking about what happens if Boston loses in the first round. You get your chips on the table and you do whatever you got to do to get Sydney Crosby. Crosby, Crosby trade so happy, silly Sydney. <laughs> I want a Crosby trade so bad. I get him out of there. What on earth could Boston give up for that? But the Johnny Beecher, and then well, the, the other one, the so the Red Wings. Like, are we? We we should give them a little attention. I know we kind of talked about it at the beginning that like they've been on a tough stretch here. That yes. they did lose Dylan Larkin for yeah. a while, which like that's a bummer. That's your best player, and like I don't know. Like, is are we kind of now? We just don't think they make any noise because I actually do think I think like whoever if Detroit makes it, let's say, I think the series that they have against either Boston or New York will be more interesting than Philly against uh, Carolina. I I agree. I think Detroit is is substantially better at their best than Philly is or than Washington is. I think that's like well, they're they're the most skilled. Yeah, they have. Also, like I think Damn. having Patty Kane in the playoffs would add like a an element that is pretty exciting. Hendricks lap year has also been pretty nice for the Capitals. I just want to throw that out there. Shout out to that guy. Wow, shout out. Pretty cool. You know, his his favorite player growing up was Ovi, and now they're like playing together. Like it's kind of sick. Maxime yeah. Lapierre's yeah. nephew too. Oh really? I'm pretty. I don't know if he's his nephew. They're related to him. Maxime Lapierre was just a real piece of work, hey? Wasn't <laughs> scored one of the <laughs> greatest goals, the Bell Center against the Penguins to upset them in the playoffs. Yeah. Craziest. Yeah. But he was a piece of work. No, he was good. I liked him. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) Let's let them discuss. You know what? You know what? The Flyers, like, as much as, like, like, they're just not as talented of a team. And, like, if they play Carolina, they should get worked by Carolina. But, like... I don't know, man. Just towards, they kind of got that dog. Just towards, yeah, towards, towards is kind of just a dog, you know. Like he's just a <laughs> bulletin dog. board material. That guy's gonna come out game one and just yell at everybody and get get a headline of some kind. They're gonna rally around. Yeah, I can see it. them. Yeah, I can see them winning game one and then just losing. Four losing four I can see them winning yeah. game one and then Couturier scratched for game two <laughs> after a win. After <laughs> overtime winner. Yeah, I think it's, <laughs> that's not how we do things here. I wonder what's gonna happen <laughs> with Couturier. Like if if he does get scratched in the playoffs or something, like uh, do you think? he would 
ask for a trade or do you think he just like got it out as the captain and just like they're trying to figure things out i have no i think like I have no idea. It's too far. Away. <laughs> it's, yeah. Well, it's just so like the it's vibes such a are so scenario. bad going in yeah. for that team. Like, yeah, which they is weird because you be should worse. feel like I talked about this at the trade deadline. You, you should be feel, fine. You should feel really good about how's the money, the overall too. progress of the yeah. team and the yeah. process. Yeah. Like it's, it's yeah, it's money. You get a first a round playoff season. series with these guys. They get to experience yeah. it for nothing. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, yeah, maybe, which is crazy. Like, I just think like when you have Torts as your head coach, there's this like vibe around the organization where you're just. Everyone's constantly almost walking on eggshells. Yeah. I don't know. You're even, on edge like, the entire time. Like, who knows when it's going to come crashing down, but at the same time, it's like, this coach is electric, and what I he does that. works to a certain extent, right? So I, lo- I love Tippett, man. I love Tippett. Yeah. As a gamer. <laughs> I was also going to say, I feel like, uh, well, maybe not. I was going to say, like, I, 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 I almost feel like internally they might like Torts more than how it feels externally because like i do think like the players probably really like him yeah i think mm, some, some of them some <laughs> yeah. probably really like him. Mm. <laughs> i bet like connect like must like i bet you Torres probably loves some of the guys too. like he probably loves Tippett. probably loves Kinect-ny. yeah I mean, like these guys who play really hard for him like do their job well connect such a gamer oh so you're saying couturier doesn't do his job well <sighs> not not lately he hasn't <laughs> scratched been. wow wow i wonder what the last this guy about to not think i think <laughs> are, are, are we moving on from we should from the, we, actually, we have a very little time to get through this last part <laughs> don't think just tweet wow. all right I are you ready for this i love not thinking we'll start right off the rip Sorry. because we were talking about the president's trophy there's like seven eight teams it's a log jam right now who is your pick to win the president's trophy and remember don't think i'm thinking go ahead luca we'll start with you Ooh, and God. will they be cursed that's the second half of the question who's your pick to win and do you think that that will ultimately affect them in the playoffs? I think the Canucks win and they're cursed. A lot of Canucks hate today. Uh, so in my mind, I do, I haven't looked because I think what really matters here is probably strength of schedule. Schedule, yeah. And like, I don't know it, but I remember people talking about that like Vancouver had to play the Kings a bunch at the end of the year, and like a bunch of people at the beginning of the year were talking about that they would have a harder schedule at the end of the year. I don't. So I'm and. I'm just guessing that the Rangers probably have kind of an easier schedule just based on the division they're in. But so I'm going to go Rangers. Are they cursed? Will they be cursed? No, I, I I will say every time that the president's trophy curse is not a real thing and doesn't make statistical sense because people still win a relatively decent amount after winning the president's trophy. The thing is, too, there's only one team that wins the Stanley Cup every yeah. year. So if the president's trophy team is going to win a cup every year, it's just like so it's just not real. It doesn't have to happen every year, but you know, it can happen. It does happen, it can happen sometimes. Some, when was the last time it happened? Uh, was it Blackhawks? 2013 Blackhawks. Black and, yeah. and then before that, the Red Wings? 2008, 2009? We'll see. Who's your, who's your pick? Canucks. And they're cursed. Okay. <laughs> um, I, I believe in the curse. We'll, we'll talk a, a little man. NHL awards now because the Art Ross has been pretty crazy all year about just McKinnon and Kucherov going back and forth, but also McDavid is, what is he, four or five points back now? Like yep. the pace he's on is crazy. Who will win the Art Ross trophy and will that ultimately affect who wins the heart? It's complicated. I think if McDavid wins the Art Ross, he also wins the heart. Coming back off the season they started, this is a long tweet. If McKinnon wins the Art Ross, he wins the heart. Oh, he's under the fold now. And if Kucherov wins the Art Ross, I think he still wins the heart too. So no matter who wins the I think Art Ross winner wins the heart. Who wins the Art Ross though? McKinnon. <laughs> okay. But what if Matthews hits 70? That's, that <laughs> That's the question. Because if Matthews, like, let's say he just averages two goals per game in the last... It'd be nuts. I don't think he... I Ten. I, no, I'm not going to say that. He's getting to 70. <laughs> <laughs> Does he win the heart? Uh, sorry. So, heart? What, what who wins, who wins the Art Ross? And ultimately, like, will that affect who wins the heart trophy? I think my pick... I'm going McDavid. Like it just, oh, I hate just it. feels like he's just no. lurking he's and creeping like, he's up. That, he got the, he's got the extra game in hand, I believe. Yep, and uh, he's got an uh, extra couple just, in hand. That guy's just built different, and I feel like like we're talking gamers. Like, man, that guy's gonna be out just racking up points. If I feel like in this last little bit, and I think he wins the heart. You know who's built different? Don't do it again. No. <laughs> Are you kidding? 
I think Kucherov's going to win the Art Ross. <laughs> Does he win the heart, though? I think it's such a top, like, it's such a tight race this year that they're going to just, like, give whoever wins the Art Ross the heart. <laughs> but I think that if a player, if one of the players, if let's say Kucherov doesn't win the heart, after, I do think Kucherov will win the Art Ross. I think Kucherov is scoring, his point totals are at an absolutely absurd pace right now, and he's not slowing down. And him and Point are just gross. Um, but I think that if he doesn't get the heart, it'll go to McKinnon. I mean, McDavid obviously could win it. I, I see the logic there, but I just think, like, man. Well, McDavid's Kucherov, not going to win it if he doesn't win the Art Ross, I don't think. Yeah. yeah. He needs yeah, to win yeah, the Art exactly. Ross to do it. Kucherov just, like, man, give the guy his flowers. Like, he's just... He's, his numbers have been absurd over like the last six or seven seasons. And like, he's about to have a career best year. The only knock is that he's not necessarily scoring as many goals as the other guys. Uh, well, I mean, at least Matthews and pro- I think McKinnon too. He doesn't have quite as many. Yeah. Goals. McKinnon 45. And then, yeah, I think Kucherov has like McDavid 41. doesn't have a lot of goals. No, David doesn't have 30. Yeah. But like coward crazy after 65. It's hard to score. I, and privilege I, Zach Hyman right, scores 60, all the goals. You, you, you can say this about any player, like obviously specifically. Well, actually, no. You can just say it about any player. And it, I guess you just. This is what I I wonder about is like, how much do they look at like? Okay, if we remove this player from their situation, how good will the team still be? Do you think that that's at all the way that like voters think about the I think, award? I think that's how they think about the heart. Probably. Like For I sure. think that's Kucherov's case, right? Is like if if he's not there, Tampa's not a playoff team. And, but man. Th- is Edmonton but a playoff team? I agree. Like, like I, I think you can say the same thing about Ed McKinnon. Colorado and, and Edmonton as well. I think most like if teams, maybe, if you just take away their best player. Yeah, if you take away McKinnon tough. from it's, the Avalanche. It's going to oh. be tough. No, but it, it just always ends up favoring the teams that are, like, more fringe. Because yeah. It's like, ah, like, if, like Colorado's at the top. The year you Taylor Hall still be won. like, ah, they might make it. Still. Also, like, guys, yeah. Victor Hedman, very back. He's back. He's having a great year. <laughs> that loves the first wild card spot. I just, man, I just love the Lightning. Like, I just... Any other ones here? Yeah, we got uh, two more. We'll yeah, make them very quick. It's always good to talk about other types of hockey, other leagues, and uh, CHL playoffs are starting soon. More Cup. Who is your pick to win the Memorial Cup? Oh, it's so early. Saginaw. I like it. Home They're team hosting. wins. Michael Misa just announces himself. Before, Zane Parek, uh, too. Oh, yeah, he's been gross. You have a 100% chance of your pick being in the memorial cup yeah exactly that's it's smart decision. Decision. Okay, so smart decision. Give, give, give like a sleeper then if, if you, I i'm mean, going to oshawa because okay. they have callum ritchie abs prospect moose jaw because they're just stacked they got savoy they've got they've got Furcus. like they are they are poised they are poised for greatness I kind of feel like it might come out of the WHL this year too, especially like last year was Quebec, no, and that was yep. a big surprise to a lot of people. Yeah, so they I upset like, Seattle. Seattle like was it's supposed to just turn. run through it. Is that that's two straight uh, Q teams? No. Yes, it is because the Sea Dogs before the that. Sea Dogs, yeah. yeah, and then the uh, the Ramparts. All right, and to close out the show, final question: Don't think, just tweet. And I need a number answer on this one. Whoa. How many goals would Jesse be away from passing Wayne Gretzky if he grew up filthy rich? <laughs> That's a How great many did Gretzky question. score? 894. How many NHL goals would Jesse have? How rich? Like filthy rich. Like very privileged. <laughs> like Zach Hyman rich? I think he'd be 892 <laughs> away. Isn't it 894? I think he gets one in the show. I think really? Jesse... I think Jesse would have probably more goals than Gretzky. Really? Yeah. That's How many more? It's I'll just such that. an advantage. You can see to his grow up rich. ability. <laughs> yeah. Oh, another team too. Sorry. <laughs> S- S- Swift Current is pretty good. Shout out to my boy Owen Pickering and Connor Geeky. But yeah, I'm, if I was filthy rich, I'd be, I'd be, I'd probably score like one or two NHL goals. I That's mean, it, we, eh? we should acknowledge there is like a, a lot of privilege. For NHL players, but it's just like not really unique to one player. Like just a lot of them <laughs> grew up very wealthy. I think it's an we expensive can, sport. I think we can agree that was about the dumbest thing that <laughs> like it was like the dumbest thing ever. So negative, unnecessary. Thanks for watching the podcast. <laughs> Love you, Zach.